Hello, my name is Dr. Shamos, and today we are going. You guys are going to see a gameplay video uh, of my ex a little bit of my experience on Opio Eight. Uh, this is a simple video. It's just a gameplay video. It's just because uh, last week uh, I haven't uploaded uh, any of gameplay videos uh, because of the guide and because of the future of the channel. In case this leader that you guys are going to see today uh, gets banned, so I'm to decide just you know upload a gameplay video for you guys to enjoy. It. Um, by the way, all of these video, all of these matches were recorded ex on the exact same day, um, s and I decided to just upload them. I think they are really interesting. Uh, normally, what I do is I do a video which is my first experience on the new set on the East. Uh, this time it was OP8 on Law, but it wasn't really my first experience because, well, I couldn't help myself, guys. I mean, come on, he's he is at the strongest, so obviously I played a little bit without recording. So yeah, uh, but still. Uh, what I wanted to say is, I'm sorry that it's only three games, because uh, it's really hard to find games now as Red Purple Law, because some people just insta-dodge you, uh, which is really sad. I don't know, maybe, I, again, if people insta-dodge me, I can't really see how powerful Law really is, but I must admit, obviously, for the games that I've played, he is really powerful. Um, the only thing I wanted, but still, this is somewhat of a first experience. I haven't played uh, in a while, you know, since I got a vacation. And when I played on myself, although it was my very first experience, uh, I don't know, I'm out of practice, I haven't played much with the sim, if I'm being honest, I've been most doing research for the guide again. Um, and this, by the way, is being recorded still on the week before the guide gets out. So, yeah, that's how, what I want to, wanted to say. So it's still somewhat of a first experience, for example, you guys are going to see my very first game against Pudding. Uh, really interesting. Uh, I think that leader can be really strong and to be honest, I must admit I kind of want to play and uh, try around with that deck. Maybe it's fun. Here you guys have my deck profile. Um, so it's pretty standard. It, I, to be honest, I love every single um, deck list that I see. Law is pretty much trying to get into the Sakazuki area, pretty much if you don't know. Sakazuki just played the exact same deck profile in everybody. The only thing that changes are, you know, the ratios and some tech cards. Some tech cards, but to be honest, I haven't seen for now that much difference. Uh, I'm really, This is mine. Uh, again, really standard, but I, if there's one thing I'm thinking about changing is taking away this blocker law for the promo law. Promo law is getting back into... Um, popularity because uh, the meta has accelerated a little bit and it feels good to play him especially if you're going second and your opponent played a 5k uh, character on his second turn so he is really powerful uh, I was going f by the way blocker law is also coming back into popularity he's really strong right now like really I wouldn't you, you can't play less than three copies I'm telling you right now um, four and three it's what's been played I'm. I was using four because I really thought this could be really OP. Again, if you if you get your opponent um, off guard, you can. This guy just is insane in this set, to be honest, in OP08. But uh, still, I would like to see from time to time uh, the power depletion. I did see Otama, but I don't know. It feels better to play the promo law and this guy. People are starting to dodge him a little bit, and sometimes, like uh, for example, I think there's a game here. That you guys are going to see that I could just straight out play the... Um, yeah, I think it was against an NL. I could just straight out play the blocker law. But I was like, I don't feel like the opportunity is good enough. So I pretty much just try and see if I baited out a new... Uh, another card from life for NL. And then, if anything went right, I would play the blocker law. But I don't know, it didn't feel as opportune. Because I, it was setting me back one dawn, I believe. And I didn't have any dawn regen. Um... But yeah, another thing is Pudding is, this is my last opinion, Black Maria, absolutely phenomenal. Again, you need to Errata this, guy, this girl. Um, I know her Errata is really hard, but again, either Ben or Errata, I don't know. This card is really toxic. Uh, but yeah, you guys, again, we'll talk about this a million times. Law is probably the one getting Ben is the leader. But yeah, this card is really strong. But Pudding... To be honest, I am playing four of her. You do need to play for her because you really want to see her on early game. But there's a game where this just straight out bricked my my hand, which is the only problem with law right now. Is from time to time you will brick, and you won't see what you need. But yeah, uh, stay with the games. This is all I wanted to say. Um, deck profile also in the description, so you guys can only copy and paste on the sim. Uh, and 
let's get into the commentary. You guys are going to see some misclicks and misplays, but I still, I think I still play, played really well, so let's get into it. Okay, here is the first game. I am going against a Nenel, and I decided to go first. I don't think it really matters. Uh, there are strategies and starting hands for both when it comes to Nenel, but I do, uh, I'm starting to enjoy to go first against Nenel, just accelerate the matchup a little bit more with the first swing. Our hand was good as well, so I just decided to keep it. Now, because he's not going first, most of them either play the don't play anything most of the time, and we did not play any board for him to remove. He is manipulating the, um, yeah, the uh, the lives, and here I have five, and I'm like, okay, is that seven cards in hand? I could really just play the blocker law. Yeah, there you go. I'm looking at it now. But he just manipulated the, um, the the life, so I'm like, if I play Blocker Law and then I swing into him, he's gonna take the life, and he's some it is something that he, he straight up just uh, just gonna remove my Blocker Law. So I'm just gonna try and get more value out of that card. He plays the Soul Focus. I think this card is going to go up in meta. I think he's really good in NL and Pudding. So yeah, it was not a bad play. He made me had to choose. He straight just doesn't play anything again. He doesn't need to, that's just an L. And now we're just gonna make another swing and see if we can play the blocker law, but no, we don't. He's playing Charlotte Cracker, which is a really, really interesting card and a card that could could potentially like catch me off guard. Here, I made a misplay. You guys saw me play a Raju. I should have played the blocker Sanji. Um, uh, it was uh, it was a misplay. I was going for the Sanji, but I for some reason I looked at the purple card uh, that was Raichu, and for I don't know my brain bugged. And yeah, you see me with the mouse there, like oh damn. He makes a big swing and and just pass. Now I know uh, a trigger is coming because he manipulated. But 5k swing just to see what it is. There you go, Thunderbolt. So yeah, I wasn't going to get the uh, the blocker law effect. And here I am low, he's at 2 lives, so we're gonna just stop swinging. And yeah, so I'm just setting up here. There you go, we got 2 cards, and we have uh, 5 swings, we can just attach 1 down to swing with Pudding. So yeah, I can make pressure for Lethal. He's not that uh, high on, um, on cards in hand. Uh, I think this guy went on to just discard a bunch of cards because he knew I had Blocker Law and he played around it. I think he's well played. And now we are 1 live. Yeah, exactly. One, and he has a two. And Yamato cannot KO much. He can only KO Pudding. That's fine by me. We just need to protect the biggest bodies. And we can just straight up... Um, we can just straight up bottom deck Yamato. So, this turn is the turn that I'm going to leave two down for my race max. Two race max. And I'm just going to make a bunch of swings. Uh, and then I'm just going to bottom deck Yamato. Whatever he gets. At this point, we are just too far ahead. Because, uh, I mean, we are too far ahead. Hmm. If he gets really good lucky triggers, then he could potentially survive another turn, which is all he needs. is to survive uh, this uh, and next turn. I make a 5k swing first. We have uh, two other swings, and we have the kid and killer, so I'm just gonna, yeah. I'm gonna bait out uh, his life by... Um, by just making a 5k swing. Now he's gonna discard a bunch of cards or take the life. It's fine. Um, he cannot KO anything. Yeah, he, he pretty much stopped Sanji because he thought I was going for game. He cannot KO Sanji. Sanji is a 6 cost and uh, NL triggers uh, destroy 5 cost or less. So that's why I wasn't really... Uh, really worried and now I'm just gonna make a 7k swing if he wants he can go to two cards in hand and I'm like ah hocus pocus I'm gonna trash here by the way there's no reason we have a blocker uh, and NL does not if I know does not play anything that can KO Sanji the only thing he can play is a Katakuri which would put Sanji into life but then he plays Raigo I'm like okay Whatever, I did. Raigo is pretty useless against Law. He makes a 9k swing. I have the counter, obviously. So, yeah, we just gonna win now. Yeah, it is what it is. Just make a 7k. Uh, whatever. 
It happens. It's okay, it's okay. He got two Amarus. Yeah, Amarus couldn't do anything. Sanji was a really good card to find there. Now against Pudding. We did not get that good of a hand. We did get Pudding as um, Dawn Regen, but the rest, not that good, to be honest. We do have the Garden, and we got a Raise Max, but we really want to see like um, a Shashin Penguin or a, and a Black Maria or a Black Maria and slash or. <laughs> And, uh, here, yeah, there you go, I was about to say that. I, I'm reading the leader ability just because I don't really know what it is. I knew he was revealing two, and at the dawn, I just didn't know if he was active or rested. I think it's rested. It's not bad. I think putting it's pretty balanced. Um, I thought her leader ability was more OP, but revealing her triggers um, is very good. At least you can play around the triggers better if she's ramping up and reaching late game faster, you know? We got the Shashin Penguin. I'm straight up just gonna big port. Uh, sh for what I'm seeing, uh, again, against yellow uh, colors, uh, if it's not NL, we can just try and build Swarm board and try to finish game as fast as we can. She makes a 6. I already know that beige. I'm gonna have to take, I don't have counter in hand. I wanted to play that kid blocker, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm like, okay, it's so gonna stop my swing. I might as well just swing with the uh, Shashin Penguin. I could potentially... Uh, now that I'm thinking about maybe this was a misplay, I could just swing with uh, the leader. But then, to be honest, he would have counter out of it. If I swing with... Yeah, I wouldn't... Yeah, swinging with the leader here was the best option. Because if he used the badge um, trigger on my Shashin Penguin, he couldn't take away my board. Yeah, this was a misplay, I just noticed it. Now, I wanted to play the blocker kid, but I also need to bottom deck that Katakuri. So I'm just gonna make a 6k swing. He's gonna be a 10 down, so I already know that 10 big mom is coming. But nope, he counters. Pretty good, yeah. I think the, the, the way to go was straight up just um, swing with leader. And I could still swing with Shashin Penguin, so yeah. We play the Raju, trying to see something. Maybe, uh, now I'm looking, maybe I should start playing two puddings. No, if I don't see the, um, the Dawn regen that I really want, like Black Maria. There you go, you already had a 10 mom in hand. And I'm a bit worried because I don't know what that trigger is. But at least I know that big mom trigger uh, does not have a trigger, you know. Making the lives on yellow predictable is, is really bad for them. Okay. He counters with the Shirahoshi. I need to play kid, block a kid. There's no other way. So yeah, I'm here. I'm just trying to. Oh, I should have swung with rage. Yeah, here I wasn't see the rage. He still counters. I'm like, okay. Yeah, I, I noticed rage, so I'm swinging. Oh yeah, rage. Let's see. He takes the life. That's nice. Gets a trigger of a search. That's not too bad. Now I really can't like swing with pudding. I need to play a blocker here. I'm gonna take away pudding just in case. I am thinking about playing another pudding, but no, I played the... Oh, okay, I know. I could have played Raju, yes, but I was trying to pretty much... If he didn't finish here, I could probably finish uh, next turn. I just need to protect my board, so yeah. If he plays the 10 uh, Big Mom, he takes away my life and he gets one, but that's fine because we have so many swings next turn. The only thing is we are too low on Dawn. Now he swings with the the, um, the big mom. I'm like, fine, I'll just take it. And if, if he plays the next big mom, then, um, then he pretty much just revives one. And I keep my swing with Kit. So that's nice. And now he plays the Rush Ace. I didn't know they played the Rush Ace, so this catch me, caught me off guard. So I'm gonna have to block here. So yeah, uh, still... I if I didn't take took that life, he would just swing with Ace um, onto board and just 
pretty much stop me from from getting game because she can't play slow. I swung with uh, with the uh, killing killer first to make sure I get that free 7k uh, swing first in case of triggers. He takes. He gets Shirahoshi. Let's keep this Shirahoshi in mind. <laughs> and I think here I make a misplay. Let me see. So 1k here, right? And I'm just gonna make two 7k swings. Oh, it wouldn't have mattered because he had that, that all those one. Yeah, he had this. Yeah, it wouldn't have mattered. So we just lose. Next card was Kid and Killer. And if he didn't have Shirahoshi, he wouldn't have uh, recycled the, the non counters. So yeah, he won because of that trigger. I still made that misplay. I don't know if that misplay made that much of a difference. Maybe I could have swung with better numbers. You guys can tell me in the comments here at the, the finale. But I don't know, that Shirahoshi making way to, for him to just drop two, two bricks, which was what he discarded, was I think it was what saved him in the end. Last game is Dofi. Pay attention to this Dofi game, by the way. This is really uh, something. Uh, so we, first he gets to choose, so he goes first, obviously. He plays the Perona, so he's pretty much, till now, he's playing the most optimal, um, the strongest uh, hand. Now he's gonna make the leader, obviously, he just manipulated the deck, and he plays Jinbei. So he just pretty much got almost a full, most powerful combo. The only thing he could have done instead of, he obviously didn't see it, instead of this law, was play the, the Weevil, but this law is making me discard the card as well, so yeah. I just send my blocker law because I know, um, I know Dofi does not go that much uh, high on, on hand size. And now I really just need to try and play for the star. That's all I can do. I swing one here. Yeah. He could have took this, but I don't know. I don't know, man. The this this powerful Jinbei play on second turn when Dofi can go first. It is really is something. But at least we got somewhat of a decent hand. We don't have any power depletion cards. But I, at least we got a good amount of blockers. And we do have the queen to cycle out hands. So that's nice. He's, play, he's playing pretty optimal, by the way. He just played the blocker. Yeah. I was like, if he made a 6k swing, I might just counter out of it. But he made a 7. We are letting it go. I don't want to go to 2 lives yet. Because... He, <laughs> um, he, again, if we don't take care of his, um, of his board, it's just gonna be too much pressure, so yeah, we just need to keep healthy on lives at least. Gonna try to take that Jinbei away. He does not let the Jinbei go, at least he's at two cards on hand, and we do have a blocker, and we have three lives, so not bad. I'm straight up just blocking with the, with the kid. Yep, there you go. I don't care. I just need to get as much value with the kid as possible. He's gonna swing into kid. Yep. He's playing slowly. He got his little ability. I'm like, oh, look at this board, man. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> he's just getting... Oh, he's, he's so good at board being lead. Stovey. And he's getting so such a good buff on his starter deck, by the way. If you are a beginning player, just straight out by this. He started like he's so good. Yeah, there you go. We're trying, we're trying to squeeze out his uh, his cards in hand. We still have two blockers, so I'm not too bad if he keeps discarding cards in hand. He does it again. Yeah, there you go. We finally got a raise max. Got them really nice. We had to use the Otama there to to help us. Make a little bit pressure by uh, bottom decking the Dofi blocker on the other turn. He swings into pulling. That's nice. I was really afraid of uh, Raging Tiger here. But it wouldn't be so bad because he couldn't do anything else besides swing. But he didn't. Now he has only for a red rock. And he's he's really like he's he keeps manipulating his top deck. 
So he pretty much knows everything that's coming. He has a more powerful vision hockey than Katakuri himself <laughs> right now. So yeah. It's gonna make a swing. I... Oh, I should have blocked here. Okay. It just red rocked my, my kid blocker. Maybe I should have... Yeah, there you go. Okay. I'm letting it go. I can't go... I can't let my queen go as a counter because we need cards in hand. And now we're seeing too much power depletion, but we have the Black Maria. It's time. And he, he does not have any card in hand, so he either blocks or lets it go. Oh, I just remember. Watch out. To you. We are about to see a uh, misclick. <laughs> there you go. He blocked because he knows I'm, I'm doing this. And... As you guys saw, I don't know if it was a problem with the with the sim because on, now on replay it, it really looks like that I I was targeting that 6k Gekomori. That's because he just has the better stats and I have no counter in hand. He plays Hancock, takes away Otama, we do not care. But at least we have Black Maria. If Black Maria is on the field, uh, we are good, man. We just, as soon as we get Black Maria... And that's why I believe on OP08 is very crucial if you can have four queens and four rages to just straight up uh, play four of them each. Yeah, here I'm just uh, playing blockers. I'm not gonna play this kid and killer. If I. Oh, yeah, there you go. If I play this kid and killer, he will just swing into kid and killer and slowly. Um, and slowly take my lives away. So I'm saving the kid and killer for a potential um, surprise swing. And we swung with Black Maria. Black Maria got her value. We used her leader ability two times. We are 10 on. It's perfect. He plays the Jinbe. He got the Jinbe of leader effects. But he goes into Black Maria. And then he plays the other Jinbe. I thought he was going to play the Raging Tiger because he did attach 3. But he just straight out just... Uh... Oh no, because if he was going to play Raging Tiger, we would just use it before the swing. And so I'm like, okay, he has 3 lives, we just got Zoro Rush, what can go wrong? The only worry here is if he gets an uh, event trigger. So I'm just going for game, because if I don't go for game, I lose. <laughs> so 5, that's gonna connect. He was super... Uh, I don't know why he played like he did. He could have potentially just left uh, Jinbei and Moria on the field. On the hand, sorry. So he could at least... Um, yeah, he just connected. At least he could bluff cards in hand, you know. I don't know if he was a 2k or 1k. I still needed to go for, for game. Oh yeah, but then... I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it would matter because if he didn't do that much uh, board building, I would have just do pressure with my swings with Kid and Killer and Law and Zoro and then see from there if I could go from game or not. So yeah, maybe that, yeah, the, maybe there was no chance for him at that point. Uh, we had to play for the Starve there. There was nothing I could do. The man was board building like crazy. Dolphy was one of the few that can keep up with the board building of Law if he sees the the his pieces you know the gym base pretty much but yeah we still managed to make a comeback was a good game uh we saw a good power of dofi and the extreme power of black maria with law <laughs> uh, so yeah thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed consider like and subscribing uh and i'll see you all in the next video goodbye